Welcome back my dear like to another anime first impressions video. So there's five episodes out of the series so far. Summertime render and right off the bat if you just want to know should you check out this series you should definitely check out this series I am actually watching right now when I first saw the first episode on any list I rated the series an 8 out of 10 but after watching episode 5 recently I'm raising that rating to a 9 out of 10 now I don't know if it's going to become a 10 out of 10 series because uh, to become a 10 out of 10 series is very very hard uh, for a lot of the series for me to rate stuff like that for example a 10 out of 10 I gave it to Akira or attack on Titan or a death note for for summertime rendering or Render to become a 10 out of 10. I, I don't know. I don't know if it'll happen or not Maybe with the ending. This is a 25 episode series. I'm really happy with the series if I Gave anything an 8 out of 10 that means it's a must watch. This is a must watch series episode one i was like whoa there's a time loop and stuff there's literally time loops literally the main character dies goes back to a certain point in time and tries to fix things and i really love stuff like that i like series that have to do with time travel i like series that have time loops i like anything that has to do with time i like time magic any and i don't know why it's it's such a cool sci-fi thing uh, messing with time that i'm like okay this is really cool so the protagonist his name is Shinpei Ajiro. He goes to uh, where he grew up and stuff. Uh, he was in Tokyo before, but he goes to where he grew up. I forgot the name of his his town and stuff. It's like a small, you know, island in Japan and stuff. So he goes over there because he's going to the funeral of his childhood friend that died. Her name is Ushio. And he discovers that things are not the same in the village that he grew up in. The town, let's call it the town. Cause it's not a, like a little village or anything. In the town that he grew up in because... There is just weird things happening. They're like, oh, Ushio died this way. She died by drown drowning. There was uh, like choke marks on her on her neck and stuff like that. And then we figure out later on that there's these shadow things that was a legend in town for, I guess, thousands of years that these shadows come, kill you, and then become you. They literally eat humans and become the human. They, they eat their memories. They eat their memory data. All their memories they have them they look exactly like you and there's like no way to distinguish the shadows but later on in episode 5 they're like uh, the only way is like to look at their feet and stuff they don't like to be stepped upon and they always have a shadow near them like their own shadows near them if they step on the shadow the shadow does not like that and may attack you these shadows are like super strong as well way stronger than a regular human so if you're trying to fight them hand to hand good luck with that you're gonna get your arm broken you're gonna get you're basically gonna get destroyed and they're very durable as well because even gunshot fire to them does not kill them like literally you have to shoot the shadow itself which i don't know if it's a normal gun that the one of the characters hisuru uh, used or it, it, those those that gun has special bullets or whatever, but it's really awesome great series Please just watch it. Just watch the first five episodes episode five. You're just gonna be so shocked You're gonna be like what in the world did I watch? This is like this is literally greatness I even see on Twitter uh, Chibi reviews. It's like this is such a great series anime of the year This is slowly becoming anime of the year for me as well, but I'm gonna be patient I'm gonna wait because I know there's some greatness coming along chainsaw man greatness and some other great series coming out in the fall so great series a very likable uh, protagonist Shinpei Ajiro sometimes you know there's some series that the protagonist is not that good but this protagonist is great I like his personality I like his willpower as well and I like the supporting uh, characters as well the support his friends and stuff in the series and yeah this is like a nice sci-fi story with a lot of mystery especially with these shadows where do they come from well how do these shadows happen i'm still five we got a little, little glimpse here and there of stuff so that's it for this one and peace